The Flint water crisis is far from over. People still can't drink their water. Yeah, tonight, new information in the ongoing political crisis. Words matter, actions matter, lives matter. Now, the embarrassing actions of the lieutenant governor are coming to light. Sometimes you have a, a conversation with somebody, you don't expect that it's ever going to be broadcast out. But it is right here, right now. Seven investigator Jim Kirstner tonight on these words, arrogance, elitism, and an apology. Committee will come to order. The Flint water crisis put the governor and Michigan onto the world stage. We all know why. Flint residents drank water poisoned with lead and other serious health problems for a year and a half with devastating consequences, especially for kids under six. Here's the Flint. City, state, and federal officials failed to issue warnings and stop it. This is that culture that got us in this mess to start with. Where is common sense? What the congressional committee members did not have then, but what we are showing you tonight is what some say, another culture of the Rick Snyder administration. This embarrassing email written by Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly in January, the target, Flint State Representative Sheldon Neely. Quote, most state reps in the minority party, meaning Democrats, spend six years in pure irrelevance. So this is just his way of mattering. It was because of this embarrassing story and event where Representative Neely said the governor needed to do more to help Flint. Just two days later, Governor Snyder would declare a state of emergency. It speaks to a mindset. It speaks to a culture of individuals and their arrogance and their elitism uh, when they talk about people being irrelevant, when we're talking about safeguarding lives. This is arrogance and elitism and insulting. How do you respond to that? Uh, I actually had a conversation with Sheldon about that and, uh, and told him, you know, look, I apologize for what I uh, put in that in that email. Get this, the same January email, which was released by the governor's office and buried in thousands of others, goes further about Flint Mayor Karen Weaver, just elected because of the water crisis in January. Quote, we need a friend on the ground, and at this point, the mayor is our best bet. We should bend over backwards to say yes to her as much as we can to make sure she is out front, taking credit for delivering things from the governor, not the state rep or senator who are actually hindering progress at this point. And again, I appreciate you hosting us and the learning we're getting and the partnership we're building. Was she being played? The mayor declined to comment on camera. Raw politics behind the scenes can be blunt. Sometimes you have a, a conversation with somebody, you don't expect that it's ever going to be broadcast out. And uh, so it was inappropriate, and I apologize for it. Have you discussed this with the governor? Um, no, I don't believe so. But earlier this week, we did. You wear this? No, we don't play people. This is all about working together in terms of partnership. And that's the view, and we each have a role to play. I'm Karen Weavers, the mayor of Flint. She should be running the city of Flint. I would say that they were playing, um, uh, using a tactic to play everybody, to play the public. I believe that we should do everything that we can to help the mayor be successful, period. Have everything you apologized to her, too? For wanting to help her be successful? No, for, for writing this. No, I, I, I just was with her. You don't think an I, apology is necessary? What I'm saying is I want to help her as much as I possibly can. No I, apology necessary. For wanting to help her? Thank you. Okay. Do you have any questions? The representative accepts the apology he got from the lieutenant governor, but takes this seriously and personally. They don't want the public eye to review uh, their poor conduct. People in this community are relevant. People matter. Lives matter. And in Flint, it is still not known when people can drink their water. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.